Okay, hello, my name's Tom, and um, today I'm going to try and um, make the quite complicated and, and tricky Maltese pastizzi. So for this uh, particular clip, I'm not gonna um, I'm, I'm not gonna make a huge batch. I'm just gonna make a small amount, um, and this will make about around about a dozen, um, maybe fifteen um, small pastizzis. And um, I'm going to talk you through the two options of whether it's the ricotta or the pizzella, um, and we can um, we'll, we'll go through that as we as we go through the different clips. So to start with, I've measured out 450 grams of plain flour. Uh, this is soft uh, soft wheat plain flour. Um, so we're going to mix that into the put it into the mixing bowl, and with that I'm going to add 12 grams of salt. That's quite a large amount of salt, people might be saying, but I found that if you don't put that in there, you just don't get the flavour that you associate with um, with those beautiful flaky pastizzis. Obviously in Malta you can get them on pretty much any street all across the island, they're, they're readily available, but here in the UK um, it's, it's hard to come by them. So uh, just going to mix that together there. And then quite simply I'm going to add 200 mils of cold water to the mix. I'm not going to add it all in at one go because this is the bit where you have to be a little bit careful that you don't get the dough too sticky. So um, again, it's a little bit of judgment and a bit of practice. So I'm just gently going to let that water absorb in there. Just going to let it mix in. And uh, then once that's mixed in, I'll add a little bit more because uh, if it's too wet it gets sticky and when you try to roll it it doesn't work right um, equally if it's too dry you'll find that it doesn't stretch when you need it to in the next stages um, so just gently mixing that all in there add a bit more and then I just leave a small amount, I don't know if you can see that a small amount in there um, and I may or may not need to use that at a later point um, I tend to use the use this method just to start off with because uh, it does get quite sticky and uh, making pasta teas is quite a sticky process when you, 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 you're rubbing in the, the lard and butter into the pastry later on and um, so we're just gonna get that to absorb in there and again take your time with this there's there's no point in rushing it um, I've, I've got really eager really keen to try and make these um, and then when I have sort of made them before I've sort of tried to rush them when I've not had a lot of time and they just don't work so take your time with this you want the the water to really get absorbed into that flour um, so that you have the that whole mix at the right consistency so as you can see that's starting to come together now and when you're almost at this stage here just, sort of just rubbing those bits in there there's still a bit of dry flour in the bottom, so I'm just going to use my hands now. I'm going to grab some of that dry flour, just rub it into the spoon. Just helps to get rid of some of the excess there. And again, just trying to get it all to mix together because you want that dough to be. Um, fully mixed in ready for each of the, the different stages on there. So there are three parts to this. Um, so this being the first part, um, this stage is, is, is key, as, as, as all of the, the stages are. If you get one of the stages wrong, you find the results don't come out so well. So I'm just using my fingers, just getting that all to, to mix in. And uh, slowly getting there and you can start to feel it that it's starting to pull together nicely um, and you can, can get that so there's still a bit of a bit of, of, of a flour in there so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more again not quite the whole lot because uh, I guess my measurements not 100% each time so I am using the, the, the marker on the on the jug there um, but again the best way of judging this is get it approximately right there in the in the jug and then use your feel 
um, when you're making it and obviously what you want to get to this stage where all of the flour is picked up in that dough and again you want to be seeing what you can scrape off from the sides try not to waste anything because you want to obviously make the most of your of your dough this is quite a process um, it, uh, it, it's not something that you can just do all in one go um, unless you've uh, you've got the different stages already um, and you're kind of making it on a on a bigger sort of production sort of process there so this stage will I, I tend to do um, one day and then I'll do the next bit the next day and the next bit the next day and that way you're letting the dough um, sort of sit and rest between each ones there so I can straight away feel that that's already a little bit sticky on some bits so it's not quite mixed in so I'm going to take it out of the bowl pop it onto the clean table and I'm just gonna start to work that I'm not gonna add so I've got just a tiny bit of water left in there I'm not gonna add that now because I, I'm pretty happy with the, the consistency of that um, if anything it's a little bit too wet um, but I find while I'm doing this bit it does uh, does uh, sort itself out because uh, there'll be parts of that that's not quite as as mixed in so I'm just mixing that all together you can try using machine um, I've, I've found though that uh, it might just be my machine that's just a bit because it's a, a, a relatively cheap one it's not quite as, as advanced and it's quite got quite sort of rough settings and uh, I find that actually when I when I've tried to do that, I've actually overdone it, and it's got too, it's gone too, too much gluten perhaps in there, and it's 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 just gone and uh, gone all funny. It goes all soft and too stretchy, and then you can't really do anything with it. So straight away, you can see that's got a bit of a pull to it. Um, it is a little bit sticky, but fortunately, <coughs> I've left it a tiny bit. <laughs> Of flour left in there so I'm just going to add that to that just to just to finish that off because it is just so it's just a little bit sticky and that might explain why um, it is as it is there I didn't realize when I was doing that that I hadn't put every bit of the flour in there um, but now that's looking pretty good there so it's not sticking to my hands it's not sticking to the table I'm just going to mix all that in there and then we're going to do something just to help that process of getting it ready for the next stage. So now that I've rolled that out, I'm just gonna pop it along like that into a little sausage shape. And then I'm gonna roll it. And again, this is just to help to get the, the pastry into a, a workable position sort of state. So I'm just stretching it and again this is the bit if it's too wet it will stick to the rolling pin so just giving that a bit of a stretch I'm going to fold it over flip it around and I'm going to do this approximately 10 times and that way I know I've really worked the, the pastry I've got it really everything's mixed in nicely I'm giving it a good stretch as I go along um, and uh, then that will really work for the next part on here. So again, just show you one more time and then I'm going to pause this till the end and then I'll show you what it's like at the last stage there. So flip it around. You have to kind of push it down to start off with just to give it a bit of a... to help the, the two bits stick together there, otherwise it all falls apart there. Um, and then again it's just a case of rolling and stretching it and you'll be amazed at how far this when it, it's, it's final stage how far it really does stretch there so you can see it's just a little bit on the soft wet side so it's just causing me a bit of grief but it's workable it's not sticking to the to the rolling pin at this stage so that's good so just stretch it out and we want to be doing this about eight to ten times just to make sure it's as uh, well mixed in together and uh, again it just seems to be that's that seems to be the right amount of time to to do it so I'm gonna pause this now and then I'll get back to the next part 
just going to do one more time. Stretching it out. This time I'm going to stretch it a little bit further. Hopefully you can see that on here. So again, during this process where it was a little bit wet to start with, it's uh, just, I guess, just with the process of it being absorbed maybe in the rolling pin and on the table and in the air. It's just drying out, so this is getting quite nice now. So again, just giving it a bit more of a stretch out this time. And then we're gonna roll it. And then it needs to rest for at least a couple of hours. So you can do this all in in a day or so if you really wanted to, but I haven't got the time to, to just dedicate to coming back and then watching the the time each each to for each stage there. So I just tend to do it one part per day. And again, stretching that out really nicely there. And that's all there is for this first part. So I'm just gonna roll it now. I'm just stretching it as I, just a little bit, not enough to tear it, but just to give it a bit of a stretch as we do that. Roll it into a sausage again. And then I'm just gonna wrap, I'm just gonna get some some unsalted butter um, and I'm just going to rub that all over all over the pastry because you don't want this to dry out so again just giving it a good all over making sure everything's covered and then I'm just going to whack that in put some cling film over it and I'm going to leave that till tomorrow but minimum of two hours the obvious way to test it is if you stick your thumb in it it shouldn't then rise again. So uh, if I stick my thumb in that, it's just gonna come straight back up again, obviously, because I've only just done it. But that's your telling point if you are gonna try and do it sooner rather than sort of wait till each day. So just a bit of cling film. Day of my life. There we go. Always sticks to the stuff you don't want it to stick to, and then that's it. So that will just sit now in the in the fridge. I'll leave that overnight, but uh, again, minimum of two hours. Give it a press. If it doesn't rise up, then you know you can start to do the next stage. Side.